My name is Blessing Eze. I come from a boy state. I'm 35 years old now. I have three children. My son is uh, nine years old. Where my daughter is seven years old. The small one, she's a year and eight months now. So my son first time when I was 11 years old, I was with my parents. So things is not going fine. I was sleeping under the bridge, first act bridge. That was where I was sleeping. I do this thing for some moons. I, I meet one girl. I beg this girl, say, ah, Auntie, please, oh, can I be sleeping for your house? Because I don't have any place to sleep. I'll be sleeping outside for moons now. Nobody to help. Please, can you help me for your house? The girl said yes. That's how I started staying with the girl. So after six months, they start Fashola, Fashola start doing road. They now break the place. No way to go again. And no money with us. We now pack our loads and come to first gate. That first gate, no house, nothing, nothing. We start sleeping outside again. Sometimes, like on Fridays, we go to Naiviji. We will sleep in the church. Sometimes I will just go out. I will meet one woman, wash plate for her. She will give me sometimes 200 naira. I will use it and cook okra soup. We use spoon and drink it. We do this thing for over one year. My husband started doing pom pom work. So along the line, I get pregnant, my first son. So I use the pregnant sometimes. I will fetch water for these big men. Sometimes I wash clothes for them. Last two years, they also, we are living down that place. I born one baby by then, one of my daughter, because the place we are living, the man had finished the building. So when the man finished the building, he said that we should pack. And we don't have money to look for a house. Even to Nakbako house, we don't have money. There's nowhere we can go. We start sleeping outside. So along the land, go enter the baby's body. So I carried this baby around. I was asking people help, somebody should help me. But then the, thing, the sickness was much. The baby gave up. This place I am, I know that I'm here because this place suits me. No. This house, we used to kiss neck sometimes. We kill two snakes inside the house. Every day we kill snake here. All here snake. They say I should buy bitter cola. I used to buy bitter cola 200, 300. I put it everywhere. It doesn't stop the snake. Even day before say my husband kill snake near the house. Inside the house we were sleeping one day. Snake just from nowhere. He run about my shoulder like this. I say ah ah. I say what is this lizard? When we stand up, it was snake. I bring my daughter outside to peace. Where my daughter bend down here to peace? I don't know that there was a snake there. When the security is come, no way. They cannot be able to kill this. The security said this snake is only gone that can kill this snake. When I'm going out, I used to tell them, say, go to your friend's place and play so that they will be there till I come back because of many people know from backyard. Carry my children. Or my snake, you know, from backyard bite them. I'm here is not because of say I wanted to be here, but because of my condition. Nowhere to go. We don't have any place to go. If now so we are here now, if the owner of the place asks us to park now, we don't have money to rent the house. Sometimes my children will be crying for bread that I cannot afford it. My children used to go to those people. Said the ratchets come to my son's body. So many people use it and mock me because we are eating from those meat. So I think a lot. But when it is like that, I used to cry. Then because when I cry, the problem, I used to forget some things. But when I say, if I say it, that I should keep it in my heart, it used to give me BP. So sometimes I used to have BP. My pastor is the one that used to buy the drawer for me. Especially when my child died. I have BP, 
I couldn't believe that I would succeed. But it was my pastor. He preached me. He buy drawers. He encouraged me. Even my husband. One day my husband told me that as long as he cannot afford anything for his children, he's not worthy to live. I say no. Don't make that comment. Not that it's bad today that it will pass forever. What will make me happy now? When I go out from this Bako house, I'll be very happy because I'm suffering. My family is also suffering. So if I see that my husband is working and I go out from this place, live in a good place, I'll be happy. My children will also be happy.